This is 8.3, proving triangle similarity by side, 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 and side, angle, side. The essential question is, what are two ways to use corresponding sides of two triangles to determine that the triangles are similar? What you're expected to learn is how to use the side, side, side similarity theorem and to use the side, angle, side similarity theorem to solve different problems. All right, with this section, we're looking at two different ways to show triangles are similar. Um, and with this problem, what we're looking at um, is either triangle DEF or triangle GHJ similar to triangle ABC. Now, if I look at these triangles, I don't know anything about the angles. So um, what I do have is the sides, and that's going to how that's going to be how we solve this. Um, because remember that the corresponding sides had to be proportional in order for us to use uh, similarity. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the smallest side on this triangle ABC, which happens to be AB, and I'll put that over the smallest side of this triangle, which is DE, and that is 8 over 6. If I reduce that, that's going to come out to be 4 thirds. Okay. And we're going to do that with these other two sides. Um, BC is my next shortest side, my medium size side, and then uh, EF is the middle length of the other triangle, so that's going to be 12 over 9, which also reduces to 4 thirds. And then if I look at this last pair, my longest side, that's going to be AC over DF, which is going to be 16 over 12. If I reduce that, I get 4 thirds. Okay. Now, since all three of these are the same uh, ratio, that means these two triangles are, in fact, similar. So we would say triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by what's called the side-side-side triangle similarity theorem. Okay. Now let's look at the other two triangles, this one and this one, and we're going to see if they are similar. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to look at AB because that's my short side, which means my it's going to be AB over uh, GH, which is 8 over 8. That's 1. If I look at BC over HJ, that's 12 over 10, which would reduce down to 6 over 5. All right, and then if I do the long side, that's going to be... Uh, AC over JG, which is 16 over 16, uh, that reduces to 1. However, um, this one right here, this, this middle side, gave me a different ratio of 6 over 5. So then I would say triangle ABC is not similar to triangle GHJ. Because the corresponding sides were not proportional. This one we want to find the value of x that makes triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF. So we're going to use the same side 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 similarity theorem. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a proportion. So um, what I do, notice that I have an x minus 1 here and a 3 uh, parentheses x plus 1 here. Um, what I want to do though is I want to look for something, in order to solve for x, I want to look for something that doesn't have the x in them, uh, which is going to be this. Um, 4 to 12, that segment AB is cor uh, corresponds to segment DE. So I would say 4 is to 12, or 4 over 12, is equal to this X minus 1. Now this is the BC side, which is here, so that means it's going to correspond to my EF side, which is this 18. Okay. Um, what I would suggest, remember that you can, if you can reduce, reduce, that just makes the multiplying easier. So this 4 over 12 uh, is going to reduce to 1 third. So cross multiply gives you that 18 is equal to 3x minus 1. Right? Um, but what I can do here is I need to multiply or I need to distribute. That's so going to be 3x minus 3. Okay, add 3 to both sides is going to give me um, 21. And if I divide by 3, I get x is 7.
All right, for this problem, we're going to use what's called the side angle side similarity theorem. Um, and what that says is that if I have a pair of angles that are congruent and the sides that make up that angle are proportional or similar to the side, corresponding sides of the other triangle, then the triangles are similar. So on this example, I know that angle R is congruent to angle N okay, because they're both 90 degree angles. Um, now I have to look at the corresponding side. So if I look at SR compared to PN, uh, that's going to be 24. Let me write this out. It's SR to PN. It's 24 over 18. Uh, that's going to reduce down to 4 thirds. Okay, so this side, and then I have this other leg that makes up this angle, R. So that's RT. It's going to be corresponding to NQ. RT is 28, NQ is 21. If I reduce or simplify this one uh, by 7, that gives me 4 thirds. Okay. So I have my two ratios that are similar or equal, and then I have a pair of angles that are congruent. So I would say triangle SRT is in fact similar to triangle PNQ by what's called the side angle side. Similarity theorem. Okay. 